welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a get to know me video. I asked you guys to send me all of your questions over Snapchat, so I'm gonna be answering them today. So hopefully you guys get to know me a little bit more. If you guys haven't subscribed yet to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe and like this video at the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it. If you guys wanna get notified for all of my newest videos, please click the notification bell. Make sure the two ticks are at the top of the bell and you guys will get notified for all of them. I love doing like Q and A's. Okay, so the first question is, did you like high school and did you have any college? I I didn't really enjoy high school to be honest with you. Um, I, I would say like grade nine and 10, I was still hanging around like a couple of friends, but then as it got to like grade 11, 12, my last two years of high school, um, you can consider me the loner. Like I was the loner. I wanted to just be away from everybody. I wanted to focus on my studying. Um, I loved art and I just wanted to do all my art projects. I just kind of wanted to be left alone I didn't really want to have many friends and I'm kind of still like that today um, So I I wouldn't say like when I look back I'm not like oh I miss my high school years like when people say that I'm like I don't like I, I don't miss it college I did go to college. Um, I went to Sheridan College for three years for interior design I loved interior design. It's definitely one of my passions And it's definitely something that when I left high school I could definitely see myself doing but clearly it's just not what I'm doing right now um, I worked a little bit into the field um, But I actually prefer just kind of doing it around the house and for people that are close to me But I as a career I just don't see myself doing that I enjoy this way more and because I was doing my craft and what I enjoyed, I think that working on that all the time just made me realize how much I loved it. I got to draw all the time. I got to color with markers all the time. I got to be creative. I got to learn things that I never thought I would ever learn. I was raised very much in a, sh a very sheltered, clean bubble where I wasn't really exposed to many things. I was always kept very safe, you know what I mean? Um, but being in college, that really, like, that bubble just bursted open and I was like, I can go here, I can go there. And I met people from different cultures and they were like, try this, try that. And I love that kind of stuff. So that's the one thing that I really, really liked about college, being exposed to a bunch of new things. Whereas high school was very much... This is it, this is what you're gonna learn, this is what you need to do to pass, and that's it. So I just didn't like that about high school. Who inspired you to do YouTube and how did you make the decision? My sister, of course, um, definitely inspired me. I think that for a long time, I did not see myself doing YouTube at all. A lot of you would message me, you know, through Instagram and, uh, and Snapchat. And you would say, oh, I tried to look for you on YouTube and I can't find you. And I'm like, well, I'm not there. Like, I just, I never saw this being something that I would be interested in doing, to be completely honest with you guys. Seriously, that's my honest answer. And every time people would ask me, I'm like, it's just not me. Like, I just don't think, I could not see myself doing this. Like, right now, sitting in front of you guys, I could not see myself doing this. Um, but as time went on and I was getting more into my Instagram, I kind of... I just got this feeling where I'm like, I think that I think that you should try it at least and just see what happens. You know what I mean? But clearly something was in me that really wanted to do it or else you don't even get that feeling. So my first video, it was a fashion video where I used one top and I styled it three different ways. And I just wanted to see how people would respond. I wanted to see how I felt. And I actually really started to fall in love with it. So, and I love what I'm doing now. So I definitely think that, you know, Amy definitely inspired me because she's been doing this for years and she completely loves it. And I have total respect for what she does. And now that I'm doing it, I'm like, this is a 24 seven job. Like a lot of people think that, you know, doing YouTube is all fun and games. You get a bunch of free stuff and people think that it's just so glamorous, but those are like amazing. Those are amazing perks. But it is a 24-7 job. We are constantly, constantly working. Just the other night, my mom came into my room and she's like, you're still working? It's 10, it's 10 p.m. stuff. I'm like, yeah, like my job is 24-7. It's not just like, oh, film a video, upload it, and then be done with it. Okay, well, there you go, guys. Here's my video. You know what I mean? Like it's a well-rounded job where you need to constantly be here, there, doing this, doing that. So, but I definitely enjoy it, not complaining at all. I love, you know, I've always been very hardworking and I love doing it. She just made me realize that she's like, you, you're talented in so many different ways. Why wouldn't you, you know, make videos and show people that, you know what I mean? And I never felt like I had a, an appropriate platform for me to do that. And I think that this is definitely the perfect platform. And I don't know why I didn't realize it till now, 
but I'm glad that I did now. I mean, better late than never, and I'm just really happy that I made the decision. This question is so cute. It's such a Pisces question. I don't know if you're a Pisces. Do you believe in true love? Um, as I've explained to you guys before, I'm a Pisces and I'm super, super corny. I definitely want to believe in my heart that there definitely is something called true love. I think that there, I still believe that there's one person out there for you and you're supposed to be with that one person. Um, I think at the end of the day, that's just what I kind of believe in. And I know it kind of sounds like a fairy tale, but I kind of live in a fairy tale land, you know, a part of my... 50% of my day. Yeah, I would say like a good, good 50% of my day I'm living in a fairy tale land. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Like, can't we all just have some imagination and be like, you know, in our fantasy world? Like, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. So yeah, I do definitely believe in true love. And I think that true love is definitely, the meaning of it, I think, is definitely someone who's going to be your best friend first and always gonna have your back, is never gonna turn their back against you. This question says, I'd love to know what you do on your free time. You guys, I don't really have much free time, to be honest with you. Um, I work a lot of the time. But I, lately, I've just been telling myself, okay, you need to be balanced, you need to Tell yourself, okay, you need time for this. Like, what is it that you love to do? I love watching shows on my computer. Um, I love sometimes going to the movies. Um, I love to go out to dinner. That's something I love to do. Like, eating for me is a hobby. It's not just something you have to do. It's it's a hobby. Like, it's, it's pretty serious. Um, I love to go shopping. All my answers are going to be ultra feminine, just in case you guys are wondering. Um, I love to go shopping for home decor, even though I don't need it. I just go there and I look around and I'm like, look how pretty this is, Amy. She's like, you don't need any more pillows. I'm like, I know, but like, look how pretty this is. So I like to go to the movies. I love watching movies, but especially at home, I would prefer to like cuddle up on my sofa and just watch a movie at home instead of going to the movies. Cause I'm just like, oh, I gotta get up, go to the movies. You're there for like two hours and you come back home. Boring. When it comes to like certain seasons, like in the fall time, I'm like, can we go to the farm and can we look at like jams and pumpkins and this and this and that, like whatever they have there, apples, anything. Like I'm just super corny. I just like seeing stuff like that. Um, I like being around nature in that sense. Um, not really in any other sense in nature. Like I'm, I'm not a camper, that's for sure. I love like taking a day and just going like right downtown and just spending the day there. I love doing that. I don't do that often either. I love getting my nails done. I love getting my hair done. Um, yeah, so I'm just basically an overall like girly girl. There's nothing like, you ain't gonna catch me tobogganing, that's for sure. Oh, and I like going to the gym. For me, the gym has, has become a hobby, it's become something that I enjoy doing. I mean, some days I'm like, oh, I don't feel like doing it, but most of the time, it's I would definitely consider going to the gym a hobby for sure. Oh, and another thing, I don't know, this is I don't think this is really a hobby, but it's something I definitely cannot live without. Music. Like, I, this is a get to know me video, and if I don't mention music in this video, there's something definitely wrong. I need Music, music keeps me alive, music keeps my spirit up, makes me happy, um, I love to dance, and I think that honestly without music I would be so depressed you guys, I love music so much. You guys know my favorite music is reggaeton, I love reggaeton, it's my favorite. Um, I mostly, mostly listen to Latin music. I've been like that ever since I was a little girl. Um, a lot of you probably wonder like where does your Spanish you know, your love for Latin, like, where does that come from? To be honest with you guys, I didn't grow up with anything really Latin around me. So funny. I'll never forget this. I don't know why. But I was at a wedding, and I would say I was about, like, eight, eight years old. And, you know, it came time to dance, and I always looked forward to the dancing time. And the music would start to play, so boom, immediately I would grab my aunt, I would grab my cousins, and I'm like, let's go dance, let's go dance, my favorite. So we're on the dance floor, and Suavemente comes on, and... I start busting out and dancing like and I'm using like all my Latin moves eh? don't know where I got it from don't know how I learned it I don't know um, but I just started dancing and I don't know what I was doing I was doing some kind of like salsa bachata I was doing a little bit of everything I just remember the person I was with they're like do you see like this eight-year-old like what 
what the and I'm like what I love like and I'm just like <laughs> I'm just like salsa dancing I don't know what the hell I was doing you guys but I just loved it and then get and then he played another Spanish song and I'm like honestly you were just giving me the life right like imagine eight-year-old Stephanie with her little glasses and her dress you know because I, mean? I had to always be dressed up so just imagine that but growing up again I wasn't really around Spanish music whatsoever at all I remember growing up I always felt a little bit strange listening to it because people are like, why are you listening to that? Like, we're all here listening to Nelly and Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and you're here listening to Don Omar. Dale! Anyways, um, yeah, so just growing up, I just kind of slowly got into it. And now I'm just like, I don't care what anybody says. This is my music of choice. I love reggaeton. I love salsa, merengue, bachata. I love listening to everything. I listen to a little bit of rap and hip hop. But literally my iPod, like my music of choice is definitely going to be Spanish over anything else. Well, that question went left. <laughs> this next question says, do you want to have kids? I love, 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 love kids, you guys. They're so cute. I literally, I've always said this ever since I was younger, I can listen, like I can just sit down right now and listen to a young kid talk. Just talk all day. Because I think they have the most funniest, funniest humor. And I think that they just say the most craziest things. And I just love listening to them all the time. But I definitely, I definitely would want kids. I don't think I'd want one. I don't think I would want two. I'd probably want like a good three or four. Um, just because I don't want to have a bigger family. Like I'm thinking about like years ahead where we're trying to have barbecues and everybody comes over and Christmas comes around and everybody's over too. So I'm used to having a big family so I kind of want to give that too to my kids. So yes, I do want kids. This question's a little bit personal. I don't really like to get into my personal life, but I'll answer it. When was your last relationship and why did it end? I'm gonna sip of water for this. Anybody have alcohol? Just joking, I don't drink. My last relationship was a couple years ago. Um, it was long, it was about four and a half years. It was the most serious relationship I had ever had. And it ended basically because we ended up on two separate different pages. Um, at one point, we it seemed like we wanted the same thing. And then slowly, slowly, things changed. And then I just realized, okay, wait a second. We're not on the same page anymore. Um, and things were getting very, very serious. I mean, you would hope so. You would think so after four and a half years. At some point, I just had to end that. I mean, I have to admit, there was a lot of signs I ignored. A lot of things I settled for. And looking back, I wouldn't do that anymore. Um, life is just too short. I would literally rather be single than to go back and settle. So, um, basically, long story short, it ended because we just ended up on two separate different pages. He wanted this, I wanted that, and it's very hard to make things come together when people want two different things. This question is cute. It says, do you prefer heels or sneakers? I love you. Oh, thank you. Um, I, in my dream world, I prefer heels. Um, in the real world, I prefer sneakers. I actually have a pair of nude Steve Madden shoes. They are the most comfortable pair of shoes that I own. And this question is so funny. It says, what is your biggest pet peeve and guilty pleasure? You guys. Okay, pet peeves. Okay, I have to be honest with you guys. I, I can't lie to you guys. I, I just can't do it. I don't got it in me. I have a lot of pet peeves. Like, I don't want to be that person that gets annoyed by every single thing, but I'm that person that gets annoyed by every single thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the truth. Like, I think my number one pet peeve, and my mom even does this, and it drives me nuts. People chew gum, and they chew, like, with their mouth open, and as if, like, you need to see the bubble come out, and you need to, like, see the gum. Like, I don't need to see your gum. I I'm just, like... And when they pop it, you guys, I was in the mall with my sister and we're on the escalator, okay? And this girl's right behind us and all you hear is <coughs> When I hear it, I'm just like, okay, whatever. Like, clearly that person thinks it's okay to do this because it's to me, it's just not. Like, chew your gum. Like, ain't nobody's telling you not to chew your gum. But popping it and making these loud, like, bubble noises, for me, I just find, like, that's just... I just think that that's rude and I think that that's like very inconsiderate. Another thing that bothers me is when people are eating and they're eating like with their mouth open. Like take it easy, the food ain't gonna run away from you. I see I get annoyed by so many different things but now I can't think of any. Oh yes, you know what I hate? When people are late. Like if I'm coming to pick you up 
and I'm waiting outside and you're gonna make me wait for like five ten minutes rude like rude Rude. The other thing is when someone wants to take me out and they're like, okay, I'll be there for 9.30 and they're at my door at 9. Girl, I'm still trying to get my underwear on. Like, I haven't even applied any highlighter. What is wrong with you? Like, when people are rushing me, so rushing me is another def, like, pet peeve. I just don't like that. My guilty pleasure. My sister brought it up in our sister video. I was like, really? Why are you gonna expose me like that? Like, seriously? My guilty pleasure is playing with tape. I'll, I'll give you guys a few seconds to laugh, it's okay. Yeah? Yeah, it's okay, you just keep laughing. I'll, I can wait. Yeah, so I like playing with tape, and it's not just any tape. Like, I don't want any tape, I want the tape, and the tape is scotch tape. I'll like take a piece and I'll roll it up, and I'll just like play with it. It's just very soothing to me. I've been like that ever since I was like, I think like four years old. Like, my aunt would babysit me, and I'm like, can I have some tape? And she's like, what is your deal with tape? And it's so funny because she'll see me now and she'll be like, you still play with tape? I'm like, yeah, I'm 27 years old and I still play with tape. What you gonna do about it? This one says, I have so many questions for you, Amiga. How did you get into social media? Um, I've been doing social media for a while now, for a few years, but I got really, really serious about it only last summer, to be honest with you, you guys. I was like, okay, I really want to do this. I love doing this. I love fashion. So I started posting all my OTD outfit looks, and a lot of you loved it, and I was like, I love this so much, and I just kept doing it, kept doing it. To be honest with you, I'm not a social media fan. Like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I don't have a Twitter and stuff like that. I don't really go on Facebook, I'll just like post to Facebook, like I'll share it to Facebook. But I love Instagram and I love YouTube now, I just love it so much. Um, I think what made me get into it, again, it just gave me the platform for me to show my creativity and show how much I love fashion, so I think that's, that's definitely the reason why I got into it. What equipment did you start off with? For my YouTube channel, I started using my Sony A5100 in white. That's the camera I get asked about all the time. That's the camera, you guys, that I use when I'm taking my OTD photos. And you guys always ask me, what's that white camera? I know, it's beautiful. It's my favorite. Like, honestly, it's my favorite. That camera, just in case you guys don't know, that one, if you guys want, like, a selfie camera and you want a good starter camera to film with, that one is very good. That's what I've been filming with up until now. This is actually my first time filming with my Canon 80D. I'm so excited. I'm filming with it right now. I'm really excited to use this camera now. Um, I had, I just had that camera. I had a tripod. I have the mini, I think it's called the Gorilla Pod. I love that Gorilla Pod. That's what I used when I'm doing like cooking videos. I have it on the counter and it's so flexible. I actually have applied it to like my top cupboard and I put it through the handle and that's how you see the top use of the food just in case you guys didn't know. You need your SD cards. I have a remote where at times, so sometimes when you guys see me taking pictures of me by my sofa and I'm just standing there. I have like a timer for that so I plug it into my camera and then when I click go it takes a photo like every 5-10 seconds so that's really good to have especially if you're a fashion blogger. Of course, of course, of course how can I forget my MacBook. I love my MacBook. Great to work with. I would not work with a PC. I would never go back to working with a PC ever again. This one says do you have any quirky interesting talents you haven't shared with us? I wouldn't say that they're quirky. I don't think I have any quirky talents. I definitely love to sing. That's like, I would call like my secret thing. I don't sing in front of people. I don't think I ever will sing in front of you guys. I love dancing. Sometimes you guys will see me dancing on Snapchat. I love, love, love dancing. I'm no Mariah Carey or Beyonce. I think with some good training, we could have, you know, some serious potential here, people. No, I'm just joking. Um, no, I just, I love singing. Again, going back to music, everything with music just helps me feel better. This question is so so deep and so good honestly you guys if you could give your younger self any advice what would it be where should i start it's something that immediately comes at me is i definitely wish that i started youtube um before i think i would have said to myself before try this youtube thing like just try it do what you love and follow what you love i kind of always knew at my job that i was not happy and it took a long time to actually stand up and be like, you know what, like I've had enough. I know it sounds corny, but every time you put out hard work, you will get something back in return. I truly, truly believe in that. And everything that I have done where I've put out hard work, I've gotten good back. You know what I mean? Don't settle for something that you're not happy. 
go go do something that you're happy with and everything will be fine relationship wise i think going back i would not settle for certain things i would remind myself how much i was worth and i would respect myself a lot more i think that a lot of women today we kind of just settle because we're like well there's not that many good guys left so we just settle but i won't be doing that anymore just leave like why, what are you afraid of like at the end of the day you have yourself and you'll be fine. You will make it. I would also tell my younger self to not worry about so many things. I tend to worry so much because I'm such a perfectionist. And only now I'm learning, like, I'll say to myself, if, I were, if I'm worried about something, I'll be like, can I control this? And I think if I cannot control what I'm worried about, I need to dead it right there. I need to stop right there. If you cannot control it, stop worrying about it. I've made myself sick so many different times worrying about stuff and there's no point in doing that. You know, you've cried over it, you've got anxious over it, you've lost sleep over it and looking back today, you kind of just laugh. I think overall, I would just tell my younger self to, you know, open your eyes and see your self-worth. Know your talent, know what you can do and do it. Can't Pick something in life that you want to do to make someone else happy. It's your life, it's your path, and it has to be what you want. This question, very interesting. What is your biggest regret in life? Oh boy. My biggest regret was settling in the past. What possessed you to settle in a relationship where you didn't deserve all that? I fell into the whole like, you're supposed to get married, and I was like 20 something, so I'm like, you're supposed to get married, you're supposed to have kids, you're supposed to get a house, and I was so sucked into that and I think that I forgot that you know what really matters is at the end of the day are you happy you know and at the end of the day I knew I wasn't happy so I definitely think that you know in a way it was a regret but let me tell you I learned a lot a lot of things from that relationship in particular because it was the most serious one I had ever had so I definitely think that a lot of lessons came from it so I don't think it's a full regret but I think in general, I just regret settling. This one says, what kind of diet are you on? Um, the diet that I'm on doesn't have a specific name. I think it's like a custom Stephanie diet. I'm just joking. I'm not on a particular diet. I don't believe in diets. Um, I think that all the diets that are out there are just like temporary things that just make you lose weight for a while and then you just go right back. So I wouldn't say I'm on a diet. I would say this is my life. This is my lifestyle. This is just what I'm doing and what I'm gonna be continuing doing. So right now for me, it's all about balance. It's all about not depriving myself. Um, it's all about staying healthy as much as possible, trying not to eat as many processed things as you can, going to the gym regularly, um, drinking lots of water, um, trying to eat as many produce items that you can, a lot of veggies, fruits, a lot of that stuff. And I think that overall, I just feel happy about myself knowing that I'm making that change for myself. And I just, I never like saying that I'm on a diet. People just assume, especially like, you know, where I come from, people just assume like when you're watching what you're eating, they're assuming you're on a diet. She's on a diet. She can't have that. Oh. What, what diet is that, that that I'm on? I have salmon, I have rice, I have potatoes, I have gravy, I have cheese, I have bread. I'm not on a diet. How is the day in Stephanie's life? I don't think a day in my life is like that interesting to be honest with you. A typical day um, is a little bit different on the weekends than it is on the weekday, but on the weekdays, I will get up at around 8.30. I do not like to sleep in a lot, you guys. I only do that, like if I sleep at Amy's house, oh yeah, we'll wake up at like 10. But that's because like we've gone to bed like so late. We've gone to bed at like 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning. And we just kind of like to sleep in because it's like it's the two days out of the week that you can. I'm already on my phone at like 7 something. And then by the time I, I look up, there's Sugar next to me on the pillow. He's so cute. He always comes and sees me every time I'm there. My sugar baby. And then I just like to wash my face, brush my teeth. And I will go straight down and I will make myself some breakfast. Um, and then I will I have to have my coffee so I'll make my coffee most of the times so I'll go back upstairs in my studio and I'll watch like a series or a show that I'm watching at the time and I'll just have my coffee and breakfast and I'm just so cozy and then after that if I'm filming that day then I get start to get ready put on my makeup pick an outfit and then I will have this setup like I have right here and I will start filming and then I'm normally done filming in the early afternoon depending how many videos I'm doing sometimes I'm not done to like the evening um and then sometimes I will start editing that same night or I'll do it the next day and my water really struggles on days where I'm filming 
Now I have to like catch up after I'm done filming and drink all my three liters of water. By the time I'm like starving, so when I'm done filming, I'll go downstairs. I either have something meal prepped inside the fridge already, or I'll have like meat that's defrosted and then I have to just like put a marinade over it and then I already have like rice done or something and I'll cook something up. I'll clean up everything, all the mess that I made from filming. Sometimes I'll go to the gym after I'm done filming. I'm a homebody, but I need to get out sometimes. Like I really need to get out. So sometimes I just need to go out and I'll be like, okay, like do I need to go to the grocery store or do this or do that? And then around supper time, I'll prepare something as well. Again, I might have it meal prepped or not. At nighttime, it's just kind of very chill. I love to make my coffee at night. That's like 90% of my nights I have to have my coffee. So I'll have my coffee and then I'll just be on the computer, um, I'll answer some emails. 11 is the typical time I've been going to bed lately and then I'll wake up at around 8.30. If you could travel anywhere and money was no object, where would you go? I definitely would go to Greece. Greece has been like my dream destination. I can't tell you for how long. I will go there one day and I will take pictures and I will show you guys and I'll be like, I'm here. I need to go to Greece before my life is over. This one says, do you want kids or more dogs? Um, so I answer the kid question. Dogs, when I move out, I definitely want my own dog. I can't wait to get my own little puppy. I'm so excited. Okay, babes, so that's basically it for my Q&A. Thank you to all of you for all of your questions. I really, really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys got to know me a little bit better now. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys click the subscribe button and also like this video if you enjoyed. Also click the notification bell and make sure it has the two ticks at the side of the bell so that you guys get notified for all my newest videos. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I'll see you babes next time. The problem with wearing black shirts is that everything gets on them. It's just so amazing. Just pull it together, stuff. Yeah, it's okay. It's just an intro. <laughs>